So I've had some people asking, when am I gonna make some videos again? And why haven't I made any now? Well, here's the thing, I mean, I mean, I mean I've made a few videos, but it wasn't like before. And I'll just tell you a little bit about how my mind works. So basically, I'm extremely dyslexic and I'm very unorganized. And this is part of what happens, I feel, when you're extremely creative. And not every creative person is like that, but I am, and I know many others who are. So, and also with my food issue, my addictions, I'm very easily disturbed off my path. So these things kind of combine together. It doesn't take a lot to swing me off into, I don't know what direction. So it started with barley, and going down there was a massive disruption to my flow. I really enjoyed it, but it was a massive disruption to my flow. And then I came back and I took on this house. And I remember saying to my friend, I shouldn't get a big house because it's gonna take away all my energy from what I'm really here to do, which is to heal my diabetes and film it on YouTube for, for you. But this house came up and I just thought, I'm gonna go for it. And I did, and it's working out great. I'm actually having a great time. And I will share with you soon what's going on in this house because there's some incredible people here and we're living an incredible lifestyle. The problem is, with this upheaval, all my belongings are scattered around in boxes and I'm kind of unpacking a little bit each day but I just don't know where stuff is. And as I said, because I'm so unorganized, um, I've developed a system over the years to keep myself organized. And what I do is I find a location for everything that I own and I leave it there. So what's been happening, because I haven't done that, I'm in the kitchen, I'm like, this is a great video, where's my camera? This is a great video, I found my camera, it's not charged. Or, you know, there's just all these different things that um, unseat my creativity and mean the video doesn't get made. So, I don't know what's going on, I feel so thirsty. Oh. <laughs> Random body stuff. So, I'm nearly there. I'm building a downstairs, uh, I'm putting all my charging station, because that's what I had in my old house, where all my cameras stay charged. So when I think of something, boom, it's done. And I can film it. And the bigger reason, or the additional reason why I haven't made any videos, is I feel I'm hiding a bit from being back in the program. But I know the program is the best place for me to be. And what, when I say a program, I mean a public commitment to some type of eating style. Whether it be raw to four, high carb vegan, start solution, 80-10-10, it doesn't really matter. But having that commitment and this accountability to you where I make these videos showing my changes in blood sugar what I've been up to etc I'm kind of like oh I don't have to do that at the moment because I'm moving house and what's happening is that my diet is slowly deteriorating it's, it stays vegan but it's more and more fat so I need to make a commitment and also I'm really confused about what to eat um, I tell people in my videos like in this one, relax. As long as you stay vegan, keep to the high carb side, things are gonna be okay. But I've been caught up in all the doubt and confusion myself. Not logically, but it's not logic that drives eating behavior, it's subconscious and I'm confused. Do I do start solution? Should I do 80-10-10? Should I do raw till four? I don't know for the first time since I've been doing this, what to eat. I really don't know what to eat. So I'm just eating anything that's vegan. So for instance, yesterday I had some bananas in the morning, maybe like 10. Then I had porridge after that. Then I went to Happy Greens and I had a, a, a high, car high carb, low fat pad thai. Then I had some more fruit. Then in the evening I made a big lentil stew. And after that I had more bananas. I don't know what you call that. It's all vegan and it felt good, but it's like, you know, I have to remind myself that I have done damage to my body 
and I'm not here just for jokes and likes do you know what I mean it's like you know I, I want to get really healthy and I want to get fit as well and, and, and it's kind of it's all I feel like I'm settling for uh, it, it feels such a relief to not be intoxicating myself that I'm kind of settling for my hand on the island what I mean by that is like I'm in the rough sea and it's crap and I find this island and I just be like oh just put my hands on it oh that's good oh that's really good I don't have to do anything else when really there's a whole land to explore you know deep into the forest into this magical land of veganism and, and, and high carb and I'm settling just for the first thing the first piece of land I put my feet on so and I feel scared you know I feel scared to go a bit further I don't not consciously because there's nothing I'm consciously scared of but I feel my body's like <gasps> what's going to happen if you eat all fruit or go fully raw till four you know the longest I did raw till four was 16 days and I want to do more than that so I think I've got to make a commitment basically I'll think about it today and I'll start tomorrow um when is it Saturday Saturday, I'll, I'll uh, no, let's see. I'll give myself till Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Monday, I will start with a new series on um, one of the eating styles, either either Star Solution Raw to Four, Eighty Ten Ten, and I'd, I'd, I'll have a check in with myself to see where I'm. I don't want to say it now because I need to think about it. But you know, that's what I want to do. I want to get into just a sustainable, consistent, healthy lifestyle that can really heal what I need to heal. But that's really what's been going on here, you know, all these upheavals, and it's just, my, my organizational system on my capacity is so fragile that it just takes a little, plus with, you know, the addictions, a little bit of shaking it around, and I, 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 I'm a bit lost with it, so I've got to get back. And I'm nearly there, and my, my room, I can't show you right now, but my room looks amazing. You know, most of the house is done. I've been, you know, I've been taking care of like 10 people, arriving, some leaving sorting out rooms, buying bedding, buying beds, buying furniture, buying cleaning equipment, organizing cleaning cupboards, and I'm a shit organizer, labeling stuff where it must go in the house, and this is a humongous house. Mm. So it's, it's a surprising I've even done it so much, so much, I've done so much um, in two weeks. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave this with a little wrap. I don't even know what it's gonna be, it's just gonna come live, and it's gonna be about, um, I feel like it's gonna be about because this fear I feel here about something, you know, going wrong with this diet. So it's going to be about that. It's true, I feel this fear that makes me tear inside deep down. I don't know whether it's because I'm scared that I might fail publicly like a clown. I don't know whether it's because I want to hold on to my addiction still. I don't know whether it's because I feel so scared. Can I really be this real? I'm wondering what is the right path. I'm so confused about what to eat. I wish this food thing was simple, just like an original hip hop beat. But the answer's there, right in my vibe. I know what to eat to keep this body alive. As long as I flood my body, with the nutritious liquid fruit. I can't imagine things getting so messed up. I believe this question is mute. I'm a vegan and I eat high carb. That's as simple as it needs to be. I don't have to make it hard. I keep away from the fats and I don't eat the lard. And that's how I fly through this world like a wizard wicard. So what am I gonna do with this feeling that burns in my chest? I'm gonna let it fuel this transformation that is the best. I'm back, I'll speak to you soon. <laughs>